Hey guys, it's your girl Vaga in the building. Um, as I said this week, all this week, right back until um, Father's Day, guys, um, it's all about men's health. And I'm talking to my guys about your body and why a lot of things are happening. And um, most men out there, they are um, reluctant to really talk about that part of their body because you know it's an ego thing it's a macho thing and when a man loses that part of their body it's like it becomes they become very insecure right and it's it's the same thing with a woman when she loses her breasts right due to cancer or whatever right it's the same thing guys we you know we you lose you know you, you get you become insecure but you don't have to because there's things that you can do to change that, right? All of these things is caused from you. Because remember, everything starts from the gut. All disease starts from your gut, guys. And what, what goes in your gut, it starts from your mouth. Goes down your esophagus and, you know, stuff like that. So we are the, we are the, we are the culprits, right? We are the ones that is poisoning our bodies. We are the ones that is... is giving ourselves erectile dysfunction. We're the ones that's giving ourselves diabetes. We're the ones that are, you know, that's giving ourselves heart problems, kidney disease. We are the ones that's doing that. We need to start taking responsibility for the things that we do and the foods that we eat and, you know, stuff like that. Can't keep blaming the man, blame the man, blame the man. If you go in the grocery stores, guys, there is two sides. Every aisle, there's an organic side and there's a, a conventional side. So it's on you guys. You make the choices. That's all they're saying. The choices are all up to you. But we choose to make poor choices. And these poor choices lead to premature diseases that could lead to death. Right? So for my guys, you know. I'm just telling you, if you're experiencing problems in that area, guys, you have to look to different parts of your body. If you start noticing that your, you know, your urine flow is, you know, more frequent, but when you go, it's less. Like, you're not, you're not, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, stuff like that, you know, you're... You're dripping or you're it's like like when you know you're dripping water or something like that you understand me if, if your experience is those things guys when you start to see your body experiencing these things and you're waking up in the middle of the night through three times in the night going to the bathroom and not releasing everything out of your bladder then guys you need to start checking your prostate right you need to start checking your prostate to become enlarged prostate because now your urethra becomes enlarged and then the flow of urine cannot go through so it be it, 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 you understand me so it, it, it's hard for the flow so you, it would still make you feel like you want to go to the bathroom but when you get there it's not really working, right? So, you know, it's just different things that you could you know that could happen, guys, that could cause, you know, prostate problem, that could cause erectile dysfunction, that could cause um infertility, that could cause, you know, you know, all of these things, these sexual problems with men, guys. And, you know, we have to look to our endocrine system. We have to look to our kidneys, guys. We have to clean our liver. We have to cleanse our lymphatic system, guys. We have to drain our, you know, clean, cleanse our body of all those fluids and waste and all these things from the foods and the toxins that we accumulate you know, over time from synthetic, from the lotions to the soaps to the, you know, the, the detergent that we wash, what wash our clothes with, to the foods that we eat, to the water that we drink, guys, There's so many things that causes problems. And, you know, a lot of men, you know, that said you guys feel like eating steak and potatoes is gonna make you strong, but no, it doesn't. It literally breaks you down over time, right? We have to look towards your endocrine system, guys. If you have problems with your, with your, with your testes, guys, if you're experiencing like, you know, different, you have different problems that you could you could have with your testes you have you know like swollen testes swollen testes sometimes if you have your testicles are swollen inflamed guys sometimes that could be a sign of infection that could be you know something chlamydia any kind of disease sexually transmitted disease so you need to check your body your testes are not supposed to be swollen they're not supposed to hurt you're not supposed to be tender so if you're experiencing you know all of these things guys please go to and see your uh, medical professional and get that checked out okay um the enlarged prostate guys uh 10 percent of men at age 40 have enlarged prostates and this reaches almost a hundred percent by a hundred percent by age 60 
as the prostate increases in size, the caliber of the urethra which lies within the prostate as it leaves the bladder is narrowed, interfering with the flow of urine, right? The typical symptoms consist of difficulty starting, starting the flow of urine, reduced force of urine stream, and, and dribbling of urine after, after voiding. Frequency of urination usually increases, especially at night, right? Continued, enlarge, and continued enlargement of the prostate poses several hazards. First, the bladder may not empty completely at the time of, of voiding, allowing stagnant urine to collect and become infected. Second, increasing pressure Increasing pressure in the bladder to force urine out may cause back pressure in the urethra, thus damaging the kidneys, guys. And third, sudden and complete blockage may prevent the, over, the outflow of urine, which is called acute retention. Um, for, uh, you understand me? So you won't be, you know, so you have to take care of these problems, guys. You cannot sit there and see that you're having these problems like, okay, Five years ago, three years ago, I would go to the bathroom and I'm, shh, now I'm dripping. Now I'm waking up in the middle of the night. You see these signs, guys. You need to go to the doctor. You need to get your these things checked out. Don't sit there and wait until it turns into some, until it leads into something more damaging where now you're literally losing every movement of from your, you know, that area, right? <clears throat> you can have cancer in the prostate guys right you get cancer in the prostate over time if you don't take care of those problems i just stated previously right um it, it's so many different things that you can have guys so many different things you understand me and the first thing that we have to do guys we have to cleanse <clears throat> we have to cleanse we have to detox and we have to fast the body we do not want diabetes guys we do not want high blood pressure we do not want high sugar we don't want hot diabetes we don't want none of those things because remember high blood pressure leads to high sugar and high sugar leads to diabetes diabetes leads to heart disease heart disease disease leads the kidney disease you understand what i'm saying and and so forth and so forth and so forth so once you start seeing you have your body you're having problems in that department where you're having high blood pressure all you need to do is start changing the way you eat guys cut out all that red meat cut out all the egg and the cheese and the dairy and all of that stuff guys you understand me Cut out all of that stuff, refined sugar the flour the white the white flour white bread white all of that stuff cut it all out right with refined foods all of that stuff cut it all out guys Start changing the way you eat. Incorporating organic fruits and vegetables in your diet. Grains, nuts, seeds, right? Um, uh, herbs, guys. Herbs, cleanse, detox, fast. Herbs, guys. Herbs, sea moss. Take sea moss on a daily basis, guys. All of these things, once you start to change the way you eat, once you start to change your body, you could reverse all of these things that's going on in your body, guys, because the body naturally heals itself. It is a self-healing mechanism, guys. We just have to literally produce it and, 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 and feed it the, the proper nutrients for it to repair itself. Now, most people will go quick for the, the, medic, you know, the pharmaceuticals because it, it works fast, 15 minutes. Bam, that pain is gone. Herbs take time, guys. Herbs take time, so they work over time. You understand? So if the, the more you take it, the more you incorporate herbs, is the more you start to see these herbs start working in your body, guys. And the more you're eating properly, the more